this video, we're going to take a look at how we create our different family types. So just for example, I'm going to come up here and place in a family into our into this project. And you'll see over on our properties menu, before I insert this desk family, if I click my properties drop down, you'll see there's three different family types here. I have a 60 inch by 30 inch, a 60 inch by 30 inch student desk, and a 72 inch by 36 inch teacher desk as well. And that I have these these three different types that I can insert here. I can pick and insert my 72 inch. I can change it to the 60 by 30 inch and you'll see you see the difference in the desk and what I'm doing is inserting these different family types. So let's get started in creating our own from the bookcase family that we've started. So the first thing we're going to do back here in our family editor environment now is we're going to come up to our properties panel and I'm going to select this family types menu once again and now we're going to come over here and focus on the family types we're just going to come here and we're going to click new and we're going to name these based on the sizes like in the example we we just looked at with the desk and I'm going to name this 36 inch by 36 inch by 4 foot tall so this will be our first family type now you'll see it will appear on the drop down list let's go ahead and create just a couple more for example so we're going to create a new one and we're going to now we're going to do our 36 inch by 48 inch wide by 48 inch high and then we'll create one more and we'll create that to be 36 inch by 24 inch wide and we'll create this one to be five feet tall 60 inches and I'm just gonna click OK for this now our drop down shows the three family types that we want to create for this bookcase so now we've worked with parameters in the class and how we've just begun to flex this our families using the, those parameters well now we're going to create the sizes that we need we have the size here so we're going to take 36 inch and we're just going to come down I'm going to stretch my properties type menu and for the length we have three feet already and then for the we're going to go ahead and change the other parameters so I need 60 inches for the height that's correct and for the bookcase what we're going to consider our depth let's go ahead and say that's 24 24 inches or 2 feet then I'm just going to switch to the next size which is 36 by 36 by 48 inch high so we're just going to change this to 4 feet for this family type and you'll see our length and the depth are already 3 feet so we can go ahead to the next family which is still going to be our 36 inch length our depth will change that to 4 feet and our height will change that to 4 feet as well so now I'm just going to click apply and you'll actually see our 3D view is now reflecting this 36 by 48 by 48 inch high bookcase type that we've created let's go ahead and just change to our next size and we'll click apply and we'll watch our model flex to reflect that family type and then let's take a look at our 60 inch tall and click apply here so this is how you create the family types you just come in and we'll use the family types category creator create new 
if you need to rename you can rename them or if you need to delete any family types out of that particular family you can delete those as well so this is how you create the family types that you'll use with any family as you import it back into a project and begin to use the different family types that you've created across your project. I hope this video has been helpful for you.